Hi, my name is Tony, and I'm going to be sharing some math games with you today. This one is called Place Value Math. Included in this link are other Place Value games. One is called Addition War. Another one is a two-team addition game where you're adding up sums to 10 using the game cards. And then the third game is called Go Fish. And these can all be found on the link. So today we're going to be focusing on Place Value. For this game, you need a deck of cards and you need the included game sheet. If you are going to be reusing this game sheet, you can put it in a plastic sleeve and then you can use a dry erase marker. If you're not going to, you can just have multiple um, pages copied and whenever you play the game, you'll have a new sheet. To start, you wanna um, take your cards and you wanna remove any of the face cards so that you're only using the aces and the two through nines. So once you have that ready, you can go ahead and shuffle your deck. This game is for two players. There'll be a player A and a player B. And the goal of the game is to create the largest number that you can after drawing three game cards. Okay, so I'm going to begin. I'm player A and I'm going to select three cards. I have a two, a four, and an ace. An ace will be a one for this game. So I really want to think about since I have three digits, what is the highest number that I can create? And I know that I will be really focusing first on my hundreds column. So for that, I would wanna put my four in the hundreds column. Then I wanna look at my two and my one and compare these. I know that two is greater than one, so the two will go in my tens place value. And then I have my one. So my number for this drawing is 421. So at this time, I'm going to list 421 on the game sheet under player A. I have four hundreds, two tens, and one one. Then it will be player B's turn. Player B will take three cards. So player B drew a four, a five, and a nine. So I'm starting in my hundreds column and I want to put my nine there. I have my five and four left. I want to use my five in my tens column, and then finally my four. So my number is 954. I'll add that to the chart. Player A and player B can have a discussion about which number is larger, and then the correct symbol would be placed in the center. And we think about this greater than and less their symbol as um, a symbol that would open up towards the larger number. So the 954 is larger. We would read this like a sentence from left to right. 421 is less than 954. So player B would get the point for this round because this number is larger than this number. Now, if you feel that your child is ready to move on to something more challenging, you can then have them draw four cards. And now you're working with the thousands, up to the thousands place, and you can continue on to the ten thousands. If this seems a little too challenging, you can only work with two cards to see um, how that works for your child. So have a great time playing the game.